Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you the best of the best designer fragrances in my collection. So I recently did a best of the best niche fragrances and some of y'all was mad, okay? Like some of y'all was big mad. <laughs> So I'm following up that video with the best of the best designer fragrances. You guys know, or if you don't know, let me let you know. I'm not a niche snob. I'm not a perfume snob. Now, I don't wear a lot of the other cheap and affordable fragrances. However, I do love my designer fragrances, okay? Like, that's where I came from. <laughs> And I don't forget where I came from, okay? So I definitely love designer fragrances. I have more niche fragrances now, you know, at this point. But I'll always have my designer fragrances. There's just some designer fragrances that I will always have, like, literally for life, okay? So if you want to know the best of the best designer fragrances in my collection, then just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure the red button turns gray. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now let's get started with the video. Now guys, if it's a little shaky, please forgive me. I'm holding this handheld. And you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, like me holding this stick handheld is so annoying. But I'm doing this one for you guys today. So let's start over here on this first stand here that I purchased from Home Goods that you guys literally love and always ask me about. And I absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous though, guys. Like, look at it. Like, seriously, it's really pretty. So anywho, as you can see, Perfect Intense, in my opinion, <laughs> is one of the best designer fragrances in my collection. As you can see, the dent is real. Like, I mean, is this even a dent at this point? Now, guys, I do have my backup bottle. However, I'm not pulling it out yet. I won't be wearing that fragrance until the fall, winter. So I'm just going to rock out with this little, you know, this little drop right here. <laughs> And whenever this is done, then I'll remove the bottle and I'll bring my other one out in the fall because that's when I really wear this fragrance. So definitely, if you don't know, the Perfect Intense is one of the best designer fragrances in my collection. Now, on this tray, another one is my Dolce & Gabbana the only one. Guys, this is like a coffee fragrance. I believe there's like caramel. Clearly, I don't have any notes, okay? This video is very casual. I'm just going around my closet showing you the best designer fragrances in my collection. It's just easier that way. And that way I'm not pulling like 20 fragrances um, because I feel like it's gonna be at least 20 fragrances, possibly, we'll see. But anyway, the only one, I have the Intense as well. The Intense, however, did not make this video, but the only one, listen, I'm obsessed with this scent, okay? As you can see, the dent of this one is real as well. And I'll be getting another one when this one finishes. I always want this fragrance in my collection. It's so beautiful. I'm literally, like, literally, I could not stop wearing it. I had to make myself stop wearing it this fall because it's just that good. I'm sorry. I love it. Now, on this tray, the last fragrance that's the best of the best, in my opinion, is Armani C, the intense version. So this was the 2021 release. Guys, it's so sweet. This also has black currant. I believe it has patchouli in it as well, but it's very sweet. It's much sweeter than the original, which is here. The original has like, like a green... Let me put this down, child, because my arm is hurting. The original has like a green nature to it. I do love it, okay? I love it and I wear it, but I feel like if I didn't have the original and I just purchased the Intense, I wouldn't have purchased the original. Does that make sense? But I have the original. It's not like I'm going to declutter it or anything like that because I do still love it, but I prefer the Intense much, much better. So definitely, guys, if you're in the market for an Intense fragrance, Armani C Intense is beautiful. You know, the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Love that. And this is the original, not the Intense. So we're going to move to this tray here and we're going to give a little spinning. I'm being real extra. Okay. This one right here. I'm going to grab Etoile Filante by Louis Vuitton. Guys, let me tell you something. This fragrance right here, look at the dent. Like, you guys are going to see. The fragrances that we're going to talk about today, the dents are real. I absolutely love this fragrance. I got this fragrance last summer. And this is another one that if Louis Vuitton continues to make this, I will always have this. As you can see, the little AI is engraved on there. Guys, let me tell you. So this has magnolia. This has strawberry. This has osmanthus. This is a beautiful fragrance. This lasts long on my skin. This project on me. I was literally surprised. I was taken by surprise. This was my first Louis Vuitton fragrance. I was purchasing something else. I moseyed on. 
<laughs> to the fragrances while she was bagging up or boxing up my item and i smelled this and i was like "Ooh, like i need that i don't know the long at the time i didn't know the longevity i didn't test it out i didn't have a sample or anything like that i just smelt it and was like this is different i have nothing like this i need this and i got it and as you can see the dent is real and i only wear this in the spring summer so as you can see like i wear it wear it this is beautiful always want this in my collection literally the best of the best so let's put her back i wasn't going to talk about this only because i believe it's discontinued Mm, I'm sorry guys, but listen, it may come back. I'm not sure, but this is Lancome's Tresor La Nuit. This is a beautiful rose and vanilla fragrance. Guys, it's so sweet. Like it's cloying. I was about to say sicklingly sweet, but it's so cloying and sweet. And I absolutely love it. If you love vanilla, if you love rose, you need this. If you can get it, I'm sure you can get it on a gray market. Um, maybe it's not sold out anymore. I'm not sure, but in my opinion, it's the best of the best, one of the best of the best in my collection. So let's go over here on this stand. So this is what this stand looks like. Another beautiful stand. I just love these home goods, guys. I keep telling y'all home goods or home sense. Okay. You can get these trays and all these stands, the spinning ones and everything from home goods or home sense. Okay, so on this one right here, so let's start with, okay, let's just start here. Now, this is one that I don't talk about a lot on my channel, but guys, I absolutely love it. And this is Charlotte Tilbury's Scent of a Dream. If you love a floral scent, it's like a lemony floral scent. It's different. Like, I wouldn't say blind by it because I've heard bad things about that fragrance. But if you happen to be by a Charlotte Tilbury counter, because that's literally the only place that they sell it, or on the Charlotte Tilbury website, well, no, they sell them on the Nordstrom website too. But if you happen to be by a Charlotte Tilbury makeup counter, ask to smell the fragrance and see what you think about it and let me know, because I absolutely love it. Um, it's a very pretty girl scent, but it's different. It's definitely different. And when I tell you the sillage and the scent trail that that fragrance leaves, it's everything. And look at the bottle. Like the bottle is literally a work of art. I absolutely love it. Now, this one right here, Mon Guerlain. So this is kind of a tie between the Intense and the Original. The Intense is right there. So we have Mon Guerlain Intense and the Original. Both of these are equally beautiful fragrances. A lot of people like the Intense more. Like, honestly, guys, I want both of them. Both of them. Yep, both of them. I feel like the Intense gives me a little bit more rose and the Original gives me a little bit more lavender and vanilla. So to me, like, I need both of them. Another one that's the best of the best in my collection on this tray is Burberry Her Intense. You guys know I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm going to see if I can link it because the other day they kind of crept up on the Sephora and Ulta website. So let's see if it's still there. I'm going to link it, but it's not in stores. Like, I don't know why. Like, why would they get rid of this one? Honestly, no tea, no shade, but they should have got rid of London Dream. I'm not a fan of London Dream, but you can still find London Dream. This one is so good to me. Maybe it's the materials that they couldn't find, like the like the notes or whatever. I'm not sure, but the discontinuation of the intense, it's kind of like hurting my feelings. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling that. Like I don't understand that. It's a beautiful scent. It has a strawberry note. Some people say it smells like Baccarat Rouge by 40. I, I don't subscribe to that theory, but it's a beautiful scent and it's one of the best designer fragrances in my collection. Now... This one right here, guys, a lot of you, let me put this down. Let me move you back a little bit so I can put this down. All right, so this is Oud Bouquet. I mean, can we just get into this bottle? Let's just get into this bottle, guys. It's so beautiful. Now, this is Rose Oud, that sexy dark juice. A lot of you guys do not like this, but I absolutely love this fragrance. It's so good to me, guys. This, to me, is one of the best designer fragrances in my collection. One of the best designer fragrances, period, okay? Because it's just a long-lasting, very loud, very powerful beast mode fragrance. And I just feel like... It's just that girl. It smells a little bit Middle Eastern to me. And I'm not really, I'm not really into a lot of Middle Eastern scents. A lot of you guys have asked me if I can even do like a Middle Eastern fragrance video. And I'm like, no, because I don't really have Middle Eastern fragrances. Listen, I love the Middle East. Dubai is one of my favorite places on the earth. I love Abu Dhabi. I love Amman. Like I love all of those places. But 
I just don't really like the fragrances from them that much. Like it's not really my scent profile. I can appreciate them. But for me, this is like the closest Middle Eastern I'm gonna get. You know what I mean? Like I just love this fragrance. Like I said, it has oud, it has rose, pralines, it's sweet, it's powerful, it's a beast. Love, love, love that fragrance. So I gotta fix this bag, guys. I can't leave it like that. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Don't feel bad, y'all, because I love all of y'all. Okay. Like, let's just keep it real. Let's go on to the other side. All right, guys. So now we're on the other designer side and we're going to head down to the pineapple. Guys, this one right here Dolce and Gabbana pineapple, pure pineapple perfection, in my opinion. Okay. I love this fragrance. It has tobacco in the base. There's um, a citrus note in this fragrance, pineapple in this fragrance, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm not sure you'll be able to find it. If I can find it somewhere on Harrods or Selfridges or something like that, I'll link it for you guys, but it's not something that you could just walk into a Dolce & Gabbana store and purchase because it was limited edition to my understanding. It's from the fruit collection. They had like a lemon one. They had an orange one. They all smelled good. One of them actually had ginger and I'm I'm sad I didn't get that one. I think it was the lemon one. It had ginger, um, but I only got the pineapple one, but I'm obsessed with this one. Best of the best in my collection, in my opinion. So we're going to head down. Actually, we could go right here. As you can see, I have my Twilly body wash and my body cream and hand cream and all that. And I have my little Twilly uh, old ginger up there. So here we have Twilly de Hermes, the original version, but I think it's a little different. Like, I just love this fragrance. It's a pretty girl scent to me, but it's still a little bit different in my opinion. This has, what does this have? This has, uh, wait, why am I drawing a blank? No, it has sandalwood. Yeah, it has like a creamy sandalwood. It has tuberose, and obviously the ginger. Like, this fragrance is everything to me. I smelled the, oh, I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but I smelled that. It's cool, but for me, it was all about the original. And when the ginger came out, which is right there i love the ginger too but it's not like she's not in this video like she's there but she's not like one of the best of the best to me twilly is one of the best of the best it's like a brunch fragrance everyday fragrance run around it's nothing that i will wear to like a date like a date night or anything like that but definitely like on a casual date or running around in the summertime um or fall you know like you can wear this early fall spring it's a beautiful scent i love it and the next one we're gonna go right down here to our tiffany section and we're gonna speak about tiffany intense so this fragrance right here guys this to me smells like a very pretty oud satin mood by mfk and when i say very pretty like kind of like a pretty girl like they're cousins okay i feel like they're cousins they smell how can I say? Because they're not dupes. They don't really smell similar, but they go together really, really well. Because I use the um the Oud Satin Mood Oil with this fragrance. Like I layer it. As you can see, my dent. Can you see my dent right there? You can tell that I love this fragrance. And this hasn't been decanted. There's just certain fragrances that I don't decant. This is one of them. But all this, like this dent is from me wearing it. I love this fragrance. It lasts long. There's a carrot note in here that's kind of confusing to me. But it works, honey. Like I love this. It lasts long. I have the body cream right here. And like I said, I like to layer it with the Oud Satin Mood Oil. And it gives me all my life. Okay. All right, guys. So here's my Tom Ford section. I'm going to pick the fragrances up because the light is not really good in this light cubby hole. So we're going to start with the first one, which is Rose Prick. Let me see if I can find some good light. Yeah, I guess it's good here. So this is Rose Prick. Not for everybody. Not a safe flying by. But for me, it's one of the best fragrances. Like one of the best designer fragrances in my collection. And honestly, this is like a private blend. So it's kind of like in the niche realm, especially the price. This is what? Um, this retails for like 300 and something dollars. But honestly, guys, it's a beautiful scent. It has patchouli. It has Sichuan pepper. Like, it's like a what's that? You know what I mean? Like, oh, what are you wearing? It's always like a question like that when I've ever worn this fragrance. I love it. And I always have it in my collection. And we're going to go right on next to her. To the good girl, Lost Cherry. How's the light, y'all? This is, it. I mean, it don't get no more casual than this, right? This is like a vlog. <laughs> So this is Lost Cherry. A lot of you guys do not feel this fragrance. I love it so, so much. Like the cherry note in here, like it's so juicy, guys. I love this fragrance. I'm obsessed with it. I actually might put this on tonight for my scent of the night for bed because this is everything. Like I just love this. And I feel like 
I don't know what it is. Some people say it lasts long on them. Some people says it doesn't. I don't know if it's like a defect in the bottles. I don't know what it is. But honestly, guys, it lasts on me. I don't have that issue with this fragrance. But the majority of people that I speak to, they feel like it doesn't really last on their skin. But the scent, you can't deny the scent. Like, I, I wouldn't care. Like, honestly, I wouldn't care if it didn't last a long time on me. When I first got this fragrance, I felt like it didn't last on me. And then I just let it sit. And maybe that's why it lasts on me now. Because it sat for like, I want to say like a year or over a year. And it just like sat on the shelf in its juices. But now I have no issue with this fragrance. And I absolutely love it. Now we're going to go to... This is like a Tom Ford, this ain't a Tom Ford collection video, but the last one, no, actually there's one more. Soleil Blanc is definitely one of the best of the best in my collection, in my designer collection. It's like a vacation in a bottle, like a tropical vacation in a bottle. I wore this when we were in the Seychelles. It reminds me of vacation, like literally it reminds me of Seychelles being in East Africa and I miss that place so much. And Soleil Blanc is what I wore and I remember that trip and this smells amazing. This has Coco de Mer, which takes on the coconut accord. This has pistachios. This has, um, I'm not really too sure of all the notes, like off the top of my head, but this smells like a coconut sunscreen like on a rich resort that's what this smells like and i love it so the other one that i was telling you guys about is this one right here and it's tom ford's noir pour femme this one guys listen like this has a ginger note in it this is spicy this is beautiful like i you can't even really find this a lot now in stores i think they have the noir extreme in stores but this is the Noir Parfum, the one for women. This is so beautiful. I'm so mad I don't have another bottle because I can't find it. Like, I think it's like on Fragrance Net or like on the gray market. And I don't really shop, you know, my fragrances on those kind of places. So I'm probably just not going to get it. <laughs> but this is so good. If you can find this and if you don't mind shopping from uh, Fragrance Net and stores, you know, places like that, then you should get this fragrance. Like I said, it's spicy. It has ginger. It's a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's creamy. This is everything. I love this. All right, so now we're gonna go down to the pink section, not not the coral section, the pink section here. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of bottles, so give me a second. So this is Armani C. Fiori. It's since been discontinued. Why, I have no idea. What is up with these perfumers discontinuing all these fragrances that we know and love? Like, why? Like, why? Why is this discontinued? It smells so good. This has a beautiful patchouli note. If you love patchouli, I feel like you'll like this fragrance. It's actually like a little bit dirty, like a little dirty patchouli, but it's so sweet and creamy at the same time. This is so beautiful. Like I said, a pretty girl scent. I don't know all the notes, but I mean, like you can't get this fragrance now anyway. And if you have it, then you already know. <laughs> so Armani C. Fiori. Now we have my good girlfriend, Donna, Born in Roma by Valentino. As you can see by this dent, I absolutely love this fragrance. So if you love jasmine, if you love vanilla, you will love this fragrance because that's what this is. Jasmine and vanilla. It smells so good, guys. Some people think it's worth the hype. Some people think it's not. I purchased this fragrance when it came out and I have no regrets. I love it. It lasts long on my skin. Like I said, if you love jasmine, if you love vanilla, you will love this. It's one of the best in my collection. Next up, we have Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. This is a beautiful, very floral fragrance. It's floral with coconut. For me, this smells like summertime. It smells like vacation. It smells like the tropics, but not in a suntan lotion, beachy, like Soleil Blanc type of way. It just smells like you're somewhere on an island. <laughs> and I think it's the coconut and the tropical flowers in this fragrance that make it like that. I absolutely love it. It lasts long on my skin, not terribly long. Like I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but it's, it's decent. I love it. Like I said, it's floral with coconut. I'm sold. Another one of the best to me is my Mon Puri. Guys, this is such a fruity fragrance. When I tell you this has strawberries, this has raspberries, this has tangerine, this has so many fruits in it. It's also like a little bit floral, but it's really like a fruity, fruity scent. I love this fragrance. It's kind of tart and sweet at the same time. I met Bay when I was wearing this fragrance, not this particular bottle. This is a repurchase, but when we met, I had this fragrance on and I just feel like I always want to have this in my collection because it just has that memory attached to it i don't have the intense or any of the flingers i mean i've tried them and they do smell nice i actually like the intense version to this but i don't need both because they are very similar 
So I just have the original. To me, it's one of the best. And I love this bottle. Like, seriously, it's so girly. It's so pretty. I love it. If you know me, you know Hypnotic Poison was going to be on this list. And can y'all see the dent? You see it shaking a little bit? Look at that dent. If you look real close, you see the dent. Guys, this is one of my favorite fragrances, period. Like in my entire collection, whether it's between the niche and designer or just the designer. This, let me tell you something about Hypnotic Poison. Let me put her down, cause child, my arm. Let me tell you something about Hypnotic Poison. I've been wearing Hypnotic Poison for a long time. Now, I feel like if you just smelled this fragrance, with all the fragrances that, you know, are out now that we have access to, when I was in my 20s, I didn't have access to Zerjoff. I didn't have access to um, Tiziana Terenzi or Killy, and I don't even know those fragrances were around. For me, it was fragrances like Hypnotic Poison. It was fragrances like Angel. You know what I mean? So I didn't have these new niche experiences of fragrances that people are talking about now to compare this to so for me this was my everything like hypnotic poison you couldn't tell me i wasn't smelling good in my hypnotic poison because i've been wearing fragrances for years like i've been wearing fragrances since high school a lot of people just started wearing fragrances you know after 2020 because 2020 was literally the year of fragrance but I have history with a lot of these fragrances, so I always have them in my collection. Are they something that if I was just now getting into fragrances and smelling all these other niche fragrances and things like that now, would I have an appreciation for something like Hypnotic Poison? Probably not. <laughs> you know what I mean? But because I've been wearing these fragrances before I even knew what a Tiziana, a Zerjoff, a, you know, Creed was... I've been having these fragrances and creating memories with these fragrances and loving these fragrances and I just love how they smell to this day. So definitely Hypnotic Poison. Like listen, it has an almond note guys. Like you guys know, I love an almond note. I love anything creamy and it's the almond note for me in this fragrance. So Hypnotic Poison is definitely one of the best in my collection. All right, so last but not least, we have My Burberry Black. Guys, a fragrance that I don't really speak about too much on my channel, but just know it's a for lifer. Just know it'll always be in my collection. This one isn't for everybody, okay? If you like a strong, when I say strong, like a strong, let me put this down because I, I can't, like I can't. <laughs> If you like a fragrance with a strong peach note, then you will love this fragrance. I don't think it's a safe fine buy. I don't think it's for everybody. I don't even know if it's still like, is it still around? Yeah, actually it is still around. I'm going to link it in my description box, but I feel like it's not a safe fine buy. Get a sample, but it's a powerful designer fragrance. To me, it's like a sexy date night fragrance. Like you see her there in all her black, like it's an acquired scent. I will say this about it. I don't wear it all the time, as you can see from my dent, but I just love how it smells. But it's something that I have to be in the mood for. You know, like you have those fragrances in your collection that you love it, you always wanna have it, but it's not one that you reach for all the time because you have to be in the mood for it. This scent is very polarizing. It's very strong, it's very polarizing, and I have to literally be in that type of mood to wanna wear it. But when I do wear it, I absolutely love it. My Burberry Black. All right, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your best of the best, 10 out of 10, highly recommend designer fragrances in your collection. Let's talk about it below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.